Okay, hello, welcome to my um, user selected tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm teaching you how to create an elevator. As you can see, I have a nice elevator here. It is fairly slow, but you can make it faster. Just wait for it to get to the top. Hurry up. There we go. Okay, let's show you the second elevator, which you can make. This is the door elevator. And as you can hear, it has a sound. But really it's not that good because it'll after a while it'll just go back down by itself so i suggest we use the other one so that's the one i'm going to be teaching you how to make this one here very nice it works smoothly you can go up and down really cool that's what i'm teaching you hello welcome back i'm now going to teach you how to create those elevators so we're going to try to do both at the same time, save time for this tutorial. I only have 10 minutes. There we go. Create a 1 by 128 by 128, 128 by 128, side and top. So width, length and depth, all 128. Press enter. Move it down a little bit. But leave one um, 32 size block. How it is. Then go tools. Make hollow minus 32 so it goes outward as you can see it's been created so now you go tools make hollow not make hollow what am I thinking tools <laughs> ungroup select the first piece delete it select the top piece the bottom bit drag it across like so now drag get the bottom piece make it so click this button about twice until the grid size goes to about 8. Now size this so the height is only 8. Now select all pieces, tools, group, move it down like so. Now press Control T and it should be under, if I can find it, Funk Tank Train. Click apply. I'm going to call it jack and flags we want no pitch x rotation click apply cancel now we're going to create an entity either now double click it or right click properties we're going to delete all this and put p and it should come up with path track now click apply cancel move it to the middle of your bottom piece which should be this bit here this bit round about here somewhere now double click on your path track again properties we're going to call it path one click apply we're now going to copy this path one and move it up to about there and as you'll see, you'll see a little yellow line, like this. Okay. So now, put this yellow line. You can. Now that's good, path one. That should be path two, if I'm correct. Path three. Right, let's change it to path two, shall we? Click apply. Now it will stop and it won't work. Some strange reason, I don't know, at least I do know obviously, the next stop target, that's path 3, I'm going to put that path 2, now you see that's connected back up, then when it goes to this bit you want it to also go back down, so you go back to path 1, ok, now you click on your elevator, put first stop target, to so the place that it spawns at basically, I want it path one, which will be this one. Now make sure this button here is applied. And grab this little circle here. That circle. Drag it down to the middle. Like this. So that little X on the bottom piece. Now we're going to move this path track. Change the grid size. Whoops move it up a tad till it's the middle 
Now that'll work, it'll just continue to go up and down, up and down, but you need something to activate it. So, you get the block tool. I'll say about, yeah, about eight across. And just whack it there. And about 16 down, it doesn't matter. I already have it select, I already have this texture because I was keen prepared. Now, to get that, just click browse, type in button, and it should be this one here. Double click, then make it faster. Make sure you make it with the material that you want on the side. Then click on this, right click, whoops, make sure you have it applied. Right click and fit. When you click fit, it will fit perfectly and it will work. So now you click on it, press Ctrl T, and you should find funk button this one here remember that put it in your search bar and you should find it all just go on tap down the tab button and just scroll up a little bit we're going to call this button simple as that next we're going to go to flags don't move apply and we also Let's go to outputs. Now outputs are really, really useful. You use them for practically everything. So you go add, on press, our little jack, which is the elevator, will start going forward. Click apply and cancel. So now when you press that button, that will go up. It, once you go, once it gets to there, it'll just go back down. Because it's been told to go to there. So on here, your outputs add on pass jack stops. So that means when it gets to there, it stops. But if you want it to go back down when you press another button, then you do this: copy that button that you had before. By holding shift and dragging and letting go of the mouse. Then either properties or double click. Next, change the name of it. I'm going to put a 2 in front of it. Like so, go to outputs, delete this output, make sure you delete it. Click add. On press. Um, it should be. Yeah, jack. No, it's hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Part two. I think this is the one. No, it's on first. Jack. The one that I had before, basically. Start forward. But then once it goes there, it will just go back up again. So the output. Add on pass jack will stop. Now you think that once it stops you can't do it again, but then simply because you have this on here, jack start forwards, which is the one to start, it will work very nicely. And this is your working elevator. Now we're just gonna to create the floor. See this X here? that's where the bottom of your elevator is going to go. The only reason why that's going to happen is because we end, we put the center of gravity, which is the center of the object, at the bottom bit, right here. So, we create a little block to change this. Create a block with the block tool. This one. Make it round right about there, let's say. Move it to the front, and we have somewhere to walk on. Okay, click enter, and um, that's your elevator, it should work. Okay, um, yeah, almost forgot to make sure your buttons move with your elevator, you have to make sure that they're parented. To do this, click on the parent, make sure 
it's selected on your elevator. So it's on Jack, click apply and cancel. Do it for the other button. Jack, whoops, uh, parent on Jack, apply, cancel. Okay, thank you for watching my um, user selected tutorials. Goodbye and hope you keep watching.